Hey, M-Body, it's Clint again here for another circuit class. This workout is going to be about 30 minutes in length, um, and it'll be a combination of some strength components and some cardio high-intensity interval training that hit exercise, similar to what we've got during my circuit training classes over at M-Body. So we're going to start off with a warm-up, get through those stations that we've got, five of them in total, and then we'll do a cool down and we'll be all set. So for today's workout, um, what you need is at least a towel or a t-shirt or a pillowcase, something that you can hold tension wise. Um, and then you can also grab some dumbbells if you've got some. Um, if you've got some lying around or a wine bottle, or a can of soup, um, just to make things a little bit more challenging for you if you'd like to do that. You don't have to use any of that at all if you don't want to. Um, all of the exercises that we'll do today can be modified to be uh, more difficult um, or easier depending on what you need today. So that's what we'll get into. So uh, pause the video now, grab that type of stuff that you need, grab the water, um, drink water, you know, as often as you need to, take breaks as you need to, um, but we'll get started with that warm up. So grab that stuff, pause the video, and we'll get going. So warm up today, um, we're gonna go through three times. You're gonna have 20 jumping jacks, 10 squats, and five speed skaters to each side. Um, so we'll go through that three times on your own, 20, 10, and five. Um, and then we'll do some other stuff just to get our body ready for the workout. Remember a warm up is meant to get your body ready, warmed up, stretched out, um, so that we don't hurt ourselves um, as we get into those stations. So 20 jumping jacks, 10 squats, five speed skaters, and we'll go through that three times. When you get into those squats, making sure that you're getting nice and low, those feet are a little wider than shoulder width. And when you're going down into that squat, you're letting your knees come just to your toes, not having them come over, dropping that butt back. For those speed skaters, five per side, reaching out behind you. Again, making sure your knee doesn't go over your toes. And two more times through that set. For those squats, I like to hold my arms out in front, but you can hold them here at heart center, out to the side, overhead. I just don't want you resting those hands on your legs. Really try and reach back with those feet in those speed skaters. And one more time through. All right, so shake that out, getting started to feel that body nice and warm. Um, all I want left is for that warm up, there are five revolved lunges to each side. So you're gonna get down into a plank. You're gonna pull your leg, doesn't matter which one you start with first, up towards that hand, that same side that you brought that foot up towards, twist towards that side, open up that body, reach up towards the ceiling, back down and back to the plank. Alternating from side to side, five per side. 
I really like this during warm up because it starts to stretch out those legs, hamstrings, and hips, and feeling that twist in that spine. Nice dynamic stretching, getting that body ready for the workout. And we are going to get some twisting later on as well. So, good warm up. All right, so warm up is all complete. We're going to get into our five different stations. Each station is going to be three minutes long. It's going to be 30 seconds of a strength component followed by 20 seconds of a hit, and you get 10 seconds rest. Then you go back through it two more times to make up that three minutes for that station. I'll demonstrate each exercise before we get into it, so you only gotta remember those two things at once, and I'll call out the timing so we know exactly what we're up to. So, first station that we've got, I need you to grab that towel, t-shirt, um, pillowcase, whatever you need, to have that tension, you're going to be pulling against that the entire time. I don't want it to be a limp noodle, nice and tight. And that first station is going to be single leg reverse lunges with a jackknife. And your arms are going to be over your head with that tension. All right, so that strength. Arms are going to be up nice and straight with that tension, starting standing nice and tall, keeping those hips slightly tucked underneath. Into that reverse lunge, down towards the ground. Don't rest on your knee, but right hover above and then jackknife that leg up. You're gonna do five per side. So five on the right, and then you'll switch over to do five on the left. Making sure when you're bending down again, that knee is not going over your toes. Those arms are straight up overhead. That's gonna be your strength component. And then we're gonna get into your hit, which are gonna be drop jacks. Dropping nice and low. Moving those legs in and out nice and quick to get that heart rate pumping. So let's start this one, that's station number one in three, two, one, and go. So you've got 30 seconds right here. Those arms are overhead with that tension, really driving that knee up nice and high, exploding from that lunge. Five on one side, then five on the other. You've got 30 seconds right here, and you're gonna go right into those drop jacks. In three, two, one, and go. Nice and quick. Again, remember with those drop jacks, you're dropping that body down, making sure those knees don't come over, popping up, having those legs to come together, back out as fast as you can. And break. You've got 10 seconds right here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Grab that towel, t-shirt, pillowcase. Ready? Go ahead. Same exercise. Two more times through for station number one. With these stations, I want you to get in as many reps as possible but not sacrificing that form. I don't want it to fall apart. I don't want that knee to come forward, you to strain your body more than you need to. Ready? And hit it. Right into that drop jacks. Keeping that upper body erect. I don't want to see this. No falling over between, dropping back into that drop jacks. Couple more seconds and break. One more time. That's it. Third time's a charm right here. Three, two, one, and go. Put that full effort in right here. Last time you have to do it. Five per side. Right into that hit in three, two, one, and go. You've got it right here, only 20 seconds. Push, 
Push, keep it quick, 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 quick. Let's go nice and fast. You got it right here, five more seconds. Then you get a longer break. And break. Nice work, one down, four to go. All right. Remember, take that water, towel off as you need it. Into station number two. Our strength component is gonna be a side plank hip dip with a reverse fly. So this is where you can grab that dumbbell if you've got it, that wine bottle that you can enjoy after, soup can. Um, so that will be our strength. I'll show you that in just a moment. You'll do five per side, similar to what we just did. And your hit is gonna be a supine crossover. So strength into that side plank. Whenever you do a side plank, you can do it up here on your hand or you can modify it down on your forearm. But I want you to have this motion, that hip dip. So the hip is gonna sink down, keeping everything nice and in line. I don't want your butt falling backward, your hips pushing forward. Try to keep a nice straight line right from the crown of your head all the way down through your heels. So up here, letting your arm come down, hip is down, raise the hip, Open up that chest, down and up, down and up. This is where you can have that weight and add that if you would like. You're gonna do five on one side, flip over, five on the other. So that is your strength. When we get to that hit, you're gonna put right on your butt, crossing those legs over and arms making that scissor action. I don't need it to be big. I want it quick, concise. Point those toes, keeping that body elevated with that core for that hip. All right, let's get into round two, uh, station number two. In three, two, one, and go. So remember, up in that plank, dip, raise and open, dip, raise and open. That's what our goal is. If all you can do right here is hold that side plank, you do it. Or if you just want to do that hip dip, or if you just want to hold that side plank and do the arm opener. This is for you and what you need through this workout right here. All right, doing five on one side and then flipping. Don't forget to flip after the five. We go in three, two, one, hit it right here. Hit it right here, nice and quick, 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 quick. Halfway. Push it right here, right here. And break. So I want you to start on the opposite side that you started the last one with, those hip dips. We go in three, two, one, and go. Starting on that opposite side to make sure we get things as even as possible. With that side plank, you can stack your feet or stagger them. You can even go down on that knee if you need to. Still try and get that movement in that hip. And then you'll get to the other side and continue that five and five. Three, two, one, and hit it. Let's go. Push it right here. These high intensity interval trainings that hit, that cardio motion is meant to get that heart rate pumping. Raise it up, spark that metabolism, get it going, get that heart rate pumping. And break. All right, you've got one more coming up right here. Get yourself set up, whether it's staggered, stacked, ready, go. When you're doing these side planks, anything, with that plank motion, try and pull that belly button in towards your spine. Getting that stability and working that core. Don't forget five and five. Three, two, one, and hit. Last time you gotta do it, let's go right here, push.
Push for it right here we go. Come on, let's go. You got five more seconds. Push it, push it. And break. Nice work. Two down, three to go. All right, so station number three. We've got a your chair pose if you do practice yoga, um, but it's that isometric squat. And we've got, you either can use your dumbbells or your towel, t-shirt, pillowcase um, for some tricep extensions. So you're gonna get into that chair pose except our arms are overhead, that isometric squat, pulling it behind your body, getting that bend in those elbows, tricep extension and back to the lower back. So this is what you can do if you've got that tension or if you do have those wine bottle soup cans, that type of thing. You can do those tricep extensions right here. Again, in that isometric hold, that chair position, I don't want those knees coming over your toes. Try to sink back, lower it, so that it doesn't break that plane. So that is your strength component. And then your hit right here is just fast feet, as fast as you can. I want that body pulled up. Again, I don't want you crumpled over, but moving those feet as fast as you can. About hip distance apart, a little wider then, just as quick as you can. So let's get into it. Station number three starts in three, two, one, and go. Get right into that position, start pumping it out. As you get through this, remember making sure we're not creeping forward, making sure we're not creeping up. Try and stay nice and low. You're gonna feel it all the way through your leg and then through that primary tricep. keeping that back nice and flat. Three, two, one, fast feet. Nice and quick. I don't want this. You can go quicker than that. Pick it up, pick it up. Push it as hard as you can. It's only for 20 seconds. You've got this, let's go. And break. All right, get yourself ready. Back to those triceps, three, two, one, and go. Really try and keep that back flat. If you have those shoulders rolling forward, you're automatically gonna have a rounded back and your body just wants to crumple forward. Pull your shoulders down and back, proud chest. Then you'll notice my back flattens out. You'll keep that position as you're doing it with those triceps and extend it. Three, two, one, fast feet. Nice and quick. You can do a little turn action if you want. Just make sure you go in both directions. And break. All right, one more time, you've got this, let's go. Dumbbell, towel, whatever you need. Three, two, one, and go. An alternate motion that you can do here is just holding that tricep extension and that isometric hold. Engage your triceps. Remember to keep that tension in that towel. You're gonna work your deltoids more with that tension versus letting it hang nice and easy. Three, two, one, and hit it. Let's go, fast feet, let's go. Right here, right here. Push it, feel that heart rate start to build. Lose that breath. Push it, push it, let's go, let's go. We're almost there. And break. All right, nice work. Woo! Three down, more than halfway there. Station number four. We got ourselves in the tabletop position. So you're on all fours. 
Make sure you've got enough room from side to side. Shoulders are stacked over wrists. Hip is stacked over knee. You're going to bring that leg up into that fire hydrant position, keeping everything else, those other three points, nice and square. Your leg is bent at that 90 degrees. You're going to have an extension and back. Extension and back. You're going to do five on one side. Drop that foot down. Pull it up on the other side. And five on this side. You're really going to feel that extension in your glute. If you want to up it a little bit, you can bring yourself and hover that knee that's below. So if I'm lifting up my left leg, your right knee can be at a hover or it can be contacted. More difficult if you've got it up in a hover. So you can try that if you want to make it a little bit more difficult. And then you've got your hit over here are prone thrusters. So we are going to stay in this position. Our hands are going to be glued right here to the floor. You can extend those feet behind you in that plank. And having those thrusters right here, pulling those knees up to that chest and pushing them back out for that hip motion. All right, let's get started with station number four. We go in three, two, one, and go. Getting that body nice and square, lifting that leg up five on one side. And then five on the other. When you are doing these, I don't want you to, when you lift that leg, feel that body open up to the side. Try and keep your body square, flat to the mat, to the floor, and just having that open up at your hip. Three, two, one, and hit it. Let's go. It's like those in and outs, but on your stomach, in that plank position. When you extend, I want you to keep that body nice and straight, holding that core together. Don't let your body crumple up and get into this and have your butt get nice and high. Break. Take those 10 seconds right here. Regroup. Three, two, one, and go. Remember, five per side. Keeping your chest parallel to the ground, nice and square. Remember, if you want to make it more difficult, a little bit more challenging, raise it up, hover that knee. And continue to rotate five per side. Three, two, one, and hit it. Let's go. Nice and quick. Way that you can modify that if you're on um, solid ground, not a rug, on like a hard surface, you could have a towel or that t-shirt underneath your feet and you could just do that double slide. So sliding those feet in and out, break. All right, we've got one more right here. Go in three, two, one, and go. And if this is becoming a little bit too much on that hip, you can just go right into those standard fire hydrant raises. But again, five per side. Making sure those hips aren't twisting, they're just opening up. Three, two, one, and hit it. Let's go. That in and out. If it's too difficult, getting a little bit too fatigued with that double leg, you can go right into those mountain climbers, one at a time. To try and push it right here just a couple more seconds and break all right nice job one more you got this less than three minutes of work coming your way right here last one your strength component is in that straddle you're gonna do a straddle inchworm to a push-up so getting nice and wide, wider than your shoulders. You're gonna hinge forward at those hips down to the ground. Walk your hands out in that inchworm, push up, inch your way back, stand up. 
hinging at those hips. I don't want you to crunch over. Nice and flat, hinge forward, reach that ground, inchworm your way up, push up. If you need to drop to your knees for that modified push up, go for it and then pitch yourself back up before going through it for that strength component. And then your hit here are gonna be line jumps. So imagine a vertical line, you're just gonna be jumping from side to side as fast as you can across that line. This is where if you've got jump, a jump rope, you can implement that jump rope for that hit instead of the line jump. All right, station number five. We go in three, two, one, and go. Right into it, hinging forward, walking out, push up, and back. Remember, trying to get in as many reps as possible. Whether that means it's faster than what I'm doing or slower than what I'm doing, it's you and yourself getting through this workout. I'm leading you through it, but you're going to get out of it what you put in. Three, two, one, and go. Line jumps right here. Quick, 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 side to side. Almost like skiing. Got it halfway right here. Push. Quick, quick, nice and little. Doesn't have to be huge from side to side, but quick and shallow. And break. All right, less than two minutes to go. You've got this set up. Three, two, one, and go. Remember when you're going into that push up, body is straight, not sunken or pitched up. Nice straight body, push up, nose to the ground, and then inch your way back. Three, two, one, and line jump. Let's go, hit it. Quick, quick, quick. Can you speed it up? Let's go right here, push. And break. All right, 50 seconds is all you've got right here. You've got this, let's go. Three. Go. You can add in those variations as you need it. If you want to do two push-ups before inching your way back. Three, two, one, and hit it. Let's go right here. Last hit, all you got right here. Push it. Let's go, let's go, let's see that sweat. You got it right here, come on. and break. Nice job. I hope you guys either got to this sweaty part or a little bit more. Nice work. Sand right here in that spot that you've got, just a little side to side. You know, everything that we do through these virtual workouts, we've got a limited space. So you can make little walking circles if you'd like. Main point about it is to just keep those body parts moving, shaking out, deep breath in, and controlled deep breath out. The control is very important, important especially while cooling down, because if you let it out nice and quick, you're still going to have that hyperventilation type motion going on, which can make it so that your body isn't settling, the heart rate isn't dropping nice and slow. Um, what you need to do during that cool down. So nice deep breaths in, maybe get some arm circles in, arm circles back, arm circles forward, just enough to shake all of that out. Take another couple deep breaths. And then find yourself some room. 
Get those feet a little wider than that shoulder width again. A nice deep breath in. Reach all the way up towards that ceiling. Have your right hand grab your left wrist. Pull up and over to the right. Feel that stretch all the way down the side of your body. Feel that bend in your spine. And release that, shake it out. Again, deep breath in, reach all the way up. Left grabs right wrist, pulls up and over to the left. Why we pull up is just to get that elongation up and over. Again, feeling that stretch all the way down your body. And release that, shake it out. Roll those shoulders back, up, back, and down. Five back, and then bring five forward. Nice deep breath in, reach all the way up towards that sky. And exhale forward, full down towards the ground. Slight bend in your knee, don't lock them out. Reach down towards that ground. Heel toe your way out into that straddle position. Again, reaching down towards the ground, letting your head sink a little bit lower. Reaching back behind, feeling a stretch all the way through the posterior leg, primarily those hamstrings. Reach over towards the bottom part of that left shin. Pulling your chest down towards your thigh, feeling that stretch more along your hamstring. And passing through center over to the other side, same stretch, but on the right. And release that back to center. Let it hang. Heel toe your way back in. Right about that shoulder width distance. Brace that body, let yourself sink down towards the ground. Getting into that child's pose, knees nice and wide, feet pointed, tops of your feet pushing down into the floor, reaching that body forward, pushing your hands down into the ground. Feeling that stretch all the way through your back. Feeling it open up your hips. Deep breath in. And out, nice and controlled. And one more in. And nice and controlled out. All right, nice job. You got a good 30 minute workout here. Um, we're gonna keep pumping out these classes, so keep coming back for them. Um, hope you guys had a good time, had some fun, got a good, uh, good sweat in. Make sure you drink a bunch of water, um, and we'll see you again soon. See ya.